We present a simple and efficient method that leverages dense visual data to segment objects in 2D and 3D. Traditional multi-view stereo approaches fail to generate accurate results on complex objects due to the inherent trade-off between ambiguities from sparse viewpoint sampling and inaccuracies due to small baselines. Here we see how the quality of a classic multi-view stereo approach actually degrades slightly when additional images are added. One of the stems is missing and there are more holes in the flowers. An additional problem is that traditional approaches are computationally expensive, which means that they are unable to take advantage of all the information contained in a denser video sampling. Conversely, we explicitly account for this in our approach and compute 3D object segmentations using efficient and scalable steps. Our method takes advantage of local structures that arise in densely sampled light field data. We first compute an initial rough, depth-based segmentation using local gradient features in the epipolar volume. Here we show a visualization of this where background likelihood is red and foreground likelihood is blue. These measurements are sparse and exist only with high confidence at edge locations. We therefore compute a confidence-weighted edge-aware propagation using a geodesic distance filter that preserves image boundaries. This yields a cloud of overlapping probabilistic measurements, where each image projects its probability into a central 3D volume. As a final step, we gather per-image estimates in this 3D space, combining the information into a single, robust estimate for object occupancy. This estimate can then be thresholded to obtain a 3D object segmentation or projected back into the input images for a probabilistic segmentation as shown before. We now show some results from our method. Please pause the video for further analysis or refer to the additional data sets included in the supplemental material. These segmentations can be used in a variety of 3D reconstruction applications, for example as a prior for multi-view stereo to compute and merge point clouds. In this linear light field, we do not have enough views to fully segment the object in 3D, but we can still create a 2D segmentation of the input views. Here we show comparisons to other methods. Here we compare to the point clouds computed using CMVS. CMVS uses a patch-based approach, which yields sparse points and misses fine structures. DFLF, rather, uses a per-pixel approach, which yields denser results but with a higher degree of erroneous estimates. Here we show the point cloud rendered with estimated normals. Here we show comparisons to the ACTS approach based on publications from Zhang and colleagues. ACTS generates per-image depth maps, which we project into 3D space. Here we compare it to point clouds computed using the multi-view reconstruction technique of Gözele and colleagues, and meshes computed with the floating surface technique of Furman and Gözele. MVE generates oriented point clouds per image, which are merged in 3D space using confidence values and are meshed with FLS.
Thank you for your time.